What's up, everybody? It's me. It's Ross Red Optical Corp. I am home. I am back from New York Comic Con. I only went the one day, but yeah, I'm back. And uh, I just want to open some stuff, show you some of the stuff I got. Um, some of the things I got here. I got two packs of MetaZoo cards that were given away to me, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I also have a pack of Pokemon Lost Origin. I have a... Oh, a big box, number 6 of 15, from Mike Cabro, is that right? Mike Carbo, Mike Carbo's Universe, uh, from David Adams' uh, Card World, uh, which has a, uh, a chance of getting a pretty good CGC book, and then there's like 10 uh, ungraded books, and then there's a book, I think in here, he said, which is the first appearance of the Terminator in comics, so that's pretty cool, uh, but I'll see what I get here. Um, I am going to start... Um, by opening the, um, the packs, but I also wanted to show off some cards I did get, um, while I was there. I picked up this New York Comic Con exclusive whatnot card. I'll put it into a, something a little safer than that. I also picked up this card from Nomas Comics. Um, and I picked up the other card of the two from Nomas Comics. Now, um, that one I won't take out, but this is real easy. It just slides out just so you could see what it looks like. It says one number 117 of 150 Sawbot Physical Combat Power Blade, but it's got the little Nomas logo on the bottom. Thought that was pretty cool. And, um... Yeah, pretty cool card. All right, so those are just three uh, cards that I had picked up while there, and I thought that they were pretty cool, just so I figured I would show them. I got that little Poke Binder so that it allowed me to carry them home and not have them in awful shape. All right, so let me start. I'm going to open these MetaZoo cards. I have zero clue what any of them are about, so I am just going to open them, see what I got, and then uh, if you notice anything good, you let me know. Okay, Alien Intelligence... Light Ward. I don't know. I'm just going to go through them. It's Rubber Dude. This guy. Um, not even sure. You just tell me if you see anything that you think is good. Bad. Is that? Oh, this one's a shiny one. Snow Glister. It's kind of like shiny. It's pretty cool. All right. Maybe that's a good one. Black Dog, a Nest Token, a Abandoned Silo, and a Flame Aura. Okay, I mean, the artwork on them is pretty dope. Um, yeah, I like them. I don't think any of them are exclusive to New York Comic Con, um, so I don't think any of these cards are that. This is just... Just cards. I'm, I mean, I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure. When I open the Pokemon, I'll know a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Explosion. Uh, this one says Flare Shot. I'll just go through them a little quicker. That one. That one. That guy. This thing. Is that a shiny one? No. Oh, that's a real shiny one. Oh, that's a real shiny one. This says Golden Haired Girl. Cool. Super shiny. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. This one says germinate. Schmoose. Some kind of open waters. And water aura. So anyway, I'm not sure if any of those are good. If either of those two shinies are, are good or if they're just, uh, you know, commons, whatever it is. If anyone knows, please comment. Tell me. Let me know. Um, okay. And now I have this pack of Lost Origin cards which I actually will know if something's good because I pay attention to Pokemon. There is the code card, anyone who is watching and wants that. Let's slide those things up. Maybe you saw something that I didn't. If you did, that's great. I got energy, the lost vacuum, right? Lost vacuum with the, the whole wavy things on them. Um, some more guys. Squovit, Metatite, Gumi, Zilla, 
Manetric and nothing really good. A Mecargo, but with the lost zone things. So no ultra rares there, but who knows? You never know what's gonna happen unless you open them. So let me now open this box. Okay, there is a lot of things to unpack in here. First and foremost, I am not going to look at what the CGC book is. I'm just going to take out these books first and kind of put it to the side without really looking. Let's see, they throw in some Mike Carbo's Universe, a Big Apple thing. Okay, cool. 12 cent Wonder Woman comic. Uh, Superman Funeral for a Friend. I actually have that book. I mean, I had it, have it from when I was a kid, but um, I actually have that book. Another DC book, Action Comics, 547. Another DC book. Man, is this all DC books? Uh, let me put them over here. Batman. Secret Wars 2, issue number 9. That's a pretty cool Beyonder cover. I think I have it. I think I have both, all sets of all Secret Wars books. Um, this is... Mighty Avengers 252. I don't know if this is anything special, but um, I'll have to find out. This is pretty cool. I don't own this, and um, I like this. The Black Knight number one looks like a, something from the early 90s. Cool. And it's a uh, newsstand, so that also makes it a little bit tougher to get. Uh, let's see. Galactic Storm Iron Man number 278. Don't know. Again, if any of these are worth something, let me know. You tell me. Tomb of Dracula number 41. Lord of Vampires. Oh, and I think this is what he was talking about. Rust number 12 um, is the first appearance of the Terminator in a comic. It says preview inside. So, and um, again, a newsstand. I don't, I don't know if that means anything at this point with this book, with these books, or if that's uh, anything good or bad. But pretty cool. Um, and then I've got this, the official handbook of the Marvel Universe, hmm. printed and packaged in Canada master edition i have no clue what that is all right now let me just go through here and see what book i got oh this is a good one incredible hulk 340 the todd mcfarlane infamous cover which is pretty awesome hulk versus wolverine especially with the wolverine being announced for let me just uh for the um with the Daredevil movie, uh, I just inevitably hope Hulk vs. Wolverine does happen, but I've always wanted this cover. I don't have this cover. It's a 9-0 with a cool label. I'm super happy. Thank you uh, again, David Adams Card World, for this. And um, I appreciate MetaZoo for the packs. And uh, I don't remember the name of the guy who was selling Pokemon at New York Comic Con, but he was pretty cool too, and he had a lot of stuff. So um, go check them all out. Except for the guy I can't remember his name. Um, and uh, yeah, everybody just uh, enjoy the rest of the week. Enjoy your weekend. Peace.